Hi, welcome everyone. Year 2022 is just starting. We are still in the first quarter, but there are already many mega projects completed and commissioned in Nigeria. Yes, that's what you will see in this video, plus new projects that are planned that their construction will actually take off, not the ones that are still on paper, MOUs. <laughs> and there will be an update on projects that are still under construction. So this video is like the first quarter update on mega projects across Nigeria. Quickly, in no particular order, let's start from Lagos. But before that, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and enable notification. That will encourage us to serve you more. Thanks. Africa's richest man and owner of Dangote Fertilizer has finally started shipping and exporting fertilizer abroad after a few years construction started at the fertilizer plant in Lekki Free Trade Zone, Lagos. Dangote is now exporting fertilizer to Brazil, Mexico, Argentina, United States and many other countries. With the conflict in Ukraine and sanctions on Russia, Nigeria has come to fill the void at the right time because Russia is a huge exporter of fertilizer. Dangote is cashing in and will be earning the needed foreign exchange. The Dangote Fertilizer Complex has a production capacity of 3 million metric tons of urea fertilizer per annum. But that's only the first phase, which cost more than $2.5 billion to build. He will definitely be expanding the production capacity whenever they secure new markets. As you can see, it's a mega complex. They even have their own jetty where vessels dock and get loaded with fertilizer. The plant is Africa's largest granulated fertilizer complex. Cashing in on the huge export market for fertilizers will continue in Nigeria when the planned $1.4 billion ammonia plant is completed in Akwaibom State. The ammonia plant is a joint venture between Nigeria and Morocco and it will lead to the commercialization of Nigeria's abundant natural gas resources. When completed, about 70% of the ammonia produced will be exported to Morocco and the rest will be used to produce more than 1 million tons of the ammonium phosphate and MPK fertilizers to satisfy local demand. Collaborative projects between Nigeria and Morocco are not new. There's a mega one that is currently in the front-end engineering design stage. The huge $25 billion Nigeria-Morocco natural gas pipeline will enable Nigeria to supply natural gas to Morocco and Europe when it is completed. Nigeria will be hoping to fill the void as Europe continues to reduce reliance on Russia. You can get more details by clicking on the top right corner or you can get the links in the video description. Nearby the Dangote Fertilizer Complex is the Lekki Deep Sea Port which is still on course to launch in 2023. There is an interesting story, despite being under construction, the Lekki Deep Sea Port received the first oil tanker loaded with petrol. The petrol was unloaded for Pinnacle Tank Farm in Lekki. These are signs of things to come as the Lekki Deep Sea Port readies operation. Microsoft opened their African Development Center in Ikoyi, Lagos. The Microsoft Center will support the development of technology and engineering solutions. And who will drive the development? Nigerian engineers, of course, who are among the most resourceful in the world. Microsoft will recruit Nigerian engineers and provide the opportunity for them to work on the latest technologies that are suitable for Nigeria, Africa, and the rest of the world. This is impressive because it will cut the brain drain in Nigeria. Put simply, it's like working for Microsoft in the United States, but the difference is that the company is in Nigeria and making available the global engineering and development tools that Nigerian engineers will work with. If you are an engineering talent in artificial intelligence, machine learning and mixed reality, you might want to check out their website or any of their offices in Ikoyi or Abuja, you might just get hired. 
Microsoft is also partnering with local universities to support the development of these skills and to create a modern intelligent edge and cloud curriculum that is unique to Africa. Microsoft also has another African Development Center in Nairobi, Kenya. Still in the world of technology, the Google Equiano submarine cable landed in Lagos a few days ago. The economic impact of the project on Nigeria is estimated to add $10 billion in GDP in the next three years, plus a boost in job creation of over 1.6 million jobs. Let's hear Google's Director of Business Strategy in West Africa. The cable deployment is set to result in faster internet speeds, improved user experience, and reduced internet prices in Lagos and across Nigeria. Nigerian internet speeds are expected to grow almost sixfold by 2025, while retail internet prices are forecast to decline by 21% over the same period, according to an economic impact assessment commissioned by Google. These dynamics will help to broaden internet access and improve digital inclusion. Equiano's contribution to the digital economy means that by 2025, real GDP is forecast to be 10.1 billion US dollars higher than it otherwise would have been without the cable. Increased internet penetration is also projected to boost job creation. Between 2020 and 2025, Equiano should indirectly create 1.6 million new jobs, equivalent to 330,000 per year over the assessment period, driven by the expansion of the digital economy and peripheral sectors. Also recently, Mingwon launched the expanded MDXI data center in Leki. Mingwon is one of the leading commercial data center providers, not just in Nigeria, but West Africa. Mingwon is one of Nigeria's most successful companies. They launched a similar facility in Accra, Ghana a few months ago. What he mentioned is the new magnificent Motala Mohammed Airport Terminal 2 that has now been completed and commissioned after many years of construction. Nigeria Air Carriers are already relocating to the new terminal to enjoy the state-of-the-art facilities. For more details, you can watch the video by clicking on the top right corner or you can get the link in the video description. While you are at it, remember to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications. This video wouldn't be complete without an update on the ongoing construction of the Kaduna Kano Railway. They have welded the major tracks at the prefabrication yard ready for track laying. The construction of this important section of the Western Rail Line is advancing at a tremendous pace. The contractor is on course to beat the earlier record they set on the Lagos Ibadan Railway. At the pace they are moving, the project might be ready early next year, and when they achieve that, the Kaduna Kano Railway will become the fastest railway project, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. Contractors handling the Zungeru power plant have successfully powered the first of four turbines and started generating electricity. The remaining turbines will be gradually powered to supply the much-needed electric power to the national grid. The 700 megawatt Zungeru power plant has been under construction for several years. It is expected that the coming online of the turbines will reduce the power shortages currently being experienced across the country. There is hope that the power supply will improve quickly because the FGM power company recently announced that electric power equipment will be delivered to Nigeria from Germany in September this year. Remember that the Siemens power deal with Nigeria was delayed as you can see on the timeline, you can get more details by clicking on the top right corner to watch the video or you can get the link in the video description. Now, let's see some mega projects that are in the works. The groundbreaking for the KC Data Center was made in Lagos recently. Lagos has become the tech hub in Africa 
and the Casey Cloud Data Center is bringing investments worth $250 million to Lagos. When completed, the data center would provide an interconnection and data center platform for Nigeria to support digital ecosystems and drive internet access to over 200 million people. The massive KC data center, which is being built on 4 hectares of land, will be the largest in Nigeria when it is completed. Another groundbreaking was made in Eko Atlantic City on the site of the new United States Embassy. The site is huge, more than 12 acres. A lot of facilities are integrated in the design of the building and it will cost a whopping $300 million to build. The question now is whether the construction of the United States Embassy will motivate other plot owners in Eko Atlantic City to start developing their plots. This will create a boom in employment and the construction industry in Lagos State. This one is a new project that will establish a world-class biopharma industrial complex in Nigeria. A consortium of four European biotechnology companies are collaborating with a Nigerian startup, PIA Biopharma to establish a state-of-the-art biopharma industrial complex that will be Nigeria's first large-scale vaccine production plant. The companies are pharmaceutical giants Merck, Unizima, Romelag, and Fredlag. Now to the agro-cargo airport that is under construction in Ogun State. They are ramping up construction so that the project will be completed by December this year. They want to beat the record held by Anambra State as the fastest airport built in Nigeria. Although it's not yet completed, but flight services have been going on since last year. The Agro Cargo Airport, which is located in the Agro Processing Zone in Ogun State, will be used to export processed agro produce. The state governor also recently signed a $400 million MOU with a company for the development of the Olokola Free Trade Zone and Agro Processing Zone. The project is expected to create 25,000 direct jobs when the first phase is completed next year. Still on agro-processing, Nigeria will be investing $540 million in the processing of agricultural produce to add value to them. These processing centers will be set up in Ogun, Cross River, Kwara, Oyo, Kanu, Kaduna and Imo states. This fund was mobilized by International Fund for Agricultural Development African development and others. This is a welcome development because a lot of agricultural produce go to waste before they even hit the market. Another MOU this time between Innocent Kiara Academy and Federal Polytechnic Nekede. This will enable Innocent to fund and benefit from the research being conducted by the Polytechnic. Some time ago, they discovered some materials that can be used to make car body parts and bamboo is among these materials. Federal Polytechnic Nekede has also received research funding to the tune of 200 million Naira from TED Fund. So it will be interesting to see the result of their research and how it will affect the Nigerian automobile market. As you are aware, the Innocent Kiara Academy offers training programs to young people in the Southeast. The training program is jointly funded by Bosch of Germany. After graduation, Innocent helps them to get startup loans from the central bank that will enable them to set up their own workshops, be it car body shop or mechanic workshops. The National Theatre is undergoing serious innovations being funded by a consortium of banks and the central bank. The renovations will be concluded before the 14th and 17th November 2022 when Nigeria will host the first global conference on cultural tourism and creative industry. Lagos State is building a massive children's hospital in Lagos Island. It will be the biggest children's hospital in West Africa when completed. It will have a six-level car park and a helipad for emergencies. The construction of the Messi Children's Hospital is coming after about 100 years that the Messi Children's Hospital was built during the colonial era.
Also, this Siemens equipped hospital in Obudu Cross River State is now nearing completion. The hospital is a collaborative effort between the Cross River State Government and Siemens of Germany. Cross River doctors will be trained in Germany to take over operations of the hospital when it is completed. Alright, we hope you enjoyed the video. As usual, like the video, subscribe to our channel and enable notification. Till next time, bye bye.